Hi everyone, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs and welcome to the channel. In a recent video, I looked at alpha key and chroma key and their uses in creating transparent outputs from ProPresenter 7. Now I'm back to specifically look at the process of using chroma key with ProPresenter and an ATEM switcher. This technique of chroma key can be done with any worship presentation software, but today we're going to be using ProPresenter 7. In other videos, we're going to test the same process with the output from Easy Worship and PowerPoint. Check the video description for links to all the videos that are related to this one. By the end of this video, you will know how to use an ATEM switcher to remove a solid color and display lyrics over top of live video. Chroma key is a pretty straightforward process. Unless all you watch is Mandalorian, <laughs> no, wait a minute, then you have watched the handiwork of green screens in action. Green screens are primarily used in movies that require special effects, but sometimes those effects aren't so special. Chroma key is the technique of removing the green from a green screen so that editors can then make those special effects. How we are going to use chroma key is probably the simplest use ever, but it works very well. Before we can get to the ATEM, we need to do some things inside of ProPresenter 7. We need to apply a solid background color to each of the slides we want to key through the ATEM. So let's right click on this slide here and go to edit slide. And now I'm gonna to go to the top left, go to shape rectangle, and I'm gonna make this rectangle the size of the slide. And now on the right side where it says fill and color, I'm gonna to go to the little color wheel here on the right side, and I'm gonna to go to, there's five uh, tabs on the top, the second one over, I think it's the sliders tab. I'm gonna click on this color sliders and then go down to RGB sliders. Now in here you can change the color, but it gives you the ability to include this hex color, which is on the screen. Now if I just copy and paste this in, or in your case if you type it in, it's gonna give you the exact same color that I'm using. So on the bottom left of this window, the last thing I want you to do, there's this little uh, sample of the color. Go ahead and drag that into these little uh, save boxes. These allow you to save this color sample for later use. Now back out in the rectangle, I can go ahead and bring this rectangle layer underneath of the lyric layer and our slide has been set up. Several people have asked me about animations and the answer is yes, any type of motion or even slide transitions over top of green will work just fine. Just make sure the design or the text is not green. If you forget this important step, you are gonna look like this guy. I wanted to fit more on animations into this video, but I couldn't. So I did a separate video that I look at all the ways and things you can do with animations in ProPresenter 7 for your church or event. So check that out in the description. In my ProPresenter 7 transparent output video, we talked about alpha key and how it doesn't require the green to key out the background. The downside is that alpha key doesn't support HDMI, so it requires the use of a Blackmagic Decklink Duo 2 card, which is slightly expensive, especially if you need the PCIe enclosure to make it work with the laptop or iMac. I suggested in that video that most people should stick with chroma key versus messing with the alpha key with Pro 7 unless they specifically want to do multiple stage display or main screen outputs. This chroma key technique is great and it works extremely well. So before we take a look at the ATEM hardware and software, I wanna give you a little tour of my studio space here today. So my laptop is coming out USB-C through this adapter into an HDMI cable that's going straight into the switcher. Now, usually I run from the HDMI output from a, from a computer into an HDMI to SDI converter, which then runs into channel eight as the input on the switcher. This switcher is the ATEM Television Studio HD, and I do not recommend the HD. I recommend spending a few hundred more dollars and getting the Pro 4K, because the Pro 4K has scalers built into all eight of the SDI inputs. This one does not and that's why I'm having a problem. So for the rest of this video, just note when I reference graphics coming in on eight, I actually mean one. I've got this little Atomos monitor here that the uh, SDI output for multi-view is going into, and we're viewing that there. So if you take a look at the output window or the multi-view here from ProPresenter, you can see that I'm currently running some announcement slides. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this uh, Lyric slide and it's gonna bring up the green slide on the multi-view. To remove the green, we need to change some settings inside the switcher. That way we can use the lyrics over the live video. I'm going to start by setting up the hardware panel and then I'm going to set it up inside of the ATEM control software. 
So I'm gonna go to menu and I'm gonna go over to upstream key and I'm gonna select key type as chroma. And now I'm gonna go to fill source and I'm gonna make sure that the graphics input is selected, whichever, uh, wherever we're getting our graphics from. And then I'm gonna go over and select the color generator and I'm gonna change the hue to 110. And you can just drag slide through all of these here. Yep, so 110, perfect. And now we should be able to activate our graphics. So I'm just gonna hit the key one cut button. If I take that out of program. So the key one cut, you can see it puts my uh, keyed graphic into program. Perfect. Now that cuts it on and off, but what if you wanna fade it? Now if you select the key one tie button, which takes you from background to key one tie, and now we can auto it on and off the screen. And you can still cut, cut on, cut off, fade on, fade off. So if you're a couple examples, you might use this. So your ProPresenter operator, uh, they send you the graphics during the sermon. And then you can let the switcher operator fade them in and decide when it's time to use them. And then when they're done, you just fade it out. And then the person sends you another graphic and you fade it in, et cetera, et cetera. So now I went ahead and I rebooted the switcher and I'm gonna go into the ATEM control software on the right side where it says upstream key one, I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna to go to the chroma tab and now I'm gonna change my fill source to the input where the graphics are coming in and I'm gonna change my hue to 110, as close as I can get it to 110. And now we should be all set up with our graphics. So now to activate the graphics, I'm gonna select on air Perfect, so that's the, I that cuts them on and off. And to fade them, just like on the physical switcher, we've got the key one tie button. Well, I got the key one button right here, and that takes me off the background, it takes me over to key tie, and now I can hit auto to fade in the graphics. There you go, it goes in and it comes right back out. Once you set up the green key, it's important to know you won't notice anything different about the input on camera eight. Whatever comes out of ProPresenter will be displaying on input eight. I know our intentions are to remove the green, but we're always gonna see the green background on the multi-view. That is, unless we are showing a graphic like the announcement slides that were just up a moment ago. So the graphic input will remain green, but when you activate the key, it will put the keyed graphic on the screen without the green. So the last bit I wanna show you, I've got this app that allows me to control the ATEM switcher. So on the bottom left here, the key one, I can go ahead and put the lyrics on the screen through this key one. It's really nice for sometimes uh, if I'm in the room like adjusting the drum camera, I can pull out my phone and I can control the switcher to throw the drum camera up on the screen so that I can sit there and adjust it and look at it. So that's really cool. Now that we know how to activate the keyed input on the switcher, I want to again mention that you can still use full screen graphics from the graphics input. Simply put camera eight in the program and by doing this, you are bypassing the key feature. We now have a solid unkeyed image on the output. There are other things that I wanted to talk about in this video, but they just didn't fit. So check out the other videos linked in the video description. We will look at displaying animations, including slide transitions over the keyed green or the green key. Black bars make text easy to read, but what happens when we reduce the opacity? Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment on the video. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Follow us on Instagram at Crazy Amazing Designs as we strive to help churches and teams do church and event production well. See you in the next video.